Johan, what kind of person are you if you were to describe yourself to somebody? I um, guess I'm nice but very moody. I can get mad really easily and like, yeah, really much. But yeah, it's, that's just just the kind of person I am. In general, I think I'm quite an okay person. I have a lot of friends and stuff. But just, if I get mad, don't stay around. <laughs> Does that get you in trouble any, any time? Sometimes, yeah. What kind of trouble? Well, for example, sometimes when I practice and I lose and I get really angry, I might say some bad words, then the people don't like it, then they might not play with me again, for example. Uh, were you like that as a kid? For instance, uh, do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have one sister and one brother, yeah. As far as I remember, I always was like that. And you, you, did you get into a lot of fights with your siblings? Like every, like everyone who has a sister and, bro and brother, yeah. Got into a lot of fights with them, but it was never too serious. Uh, what kind of kid were you? Were you a good kid? No, kind, more like a, a hyperactive kid, I would say. What kind of stunts did you pull? Just about anything, like in school, I would do crazy stuff always. Like I don't know what to say exactly, but like in class sometime. Did you do anything exceptionally dumb? Uh, it's hard to remember because I don't have such a good memory. But yeah, I think I did. I did. <laughs> I did a lot of dumb things before. Uh, on a scale of ten, more or less, what was the scale of dumbness that you you know got into? Maybe nine was the maximum. <laughs> nine. I, I can imagine that. Do you consider yourself good with women? They were. Yeah. Are you the? You know. Are, do you consider yourself similar to Don Juan? Would you pick up any girl you liked? No, I'm not that good. But I'm not bad. Not bad. Did you have a crush on on a teacher in high school? Maybe. No, not really. Too, too I, I more like. That? Uh, no, more like. I only had teachers I, li I disliked mostly. Never really had, like, in the movies, this gorgeous teacher who was also so nice with everyone. I never had the chance to have one of those. So how was high school? Did you get pissed off with teachers all the time? Did you skip school all the time? or Sometimes, not all the time, just yeah, sometimes. Because you didn't like the teachers or because you were lazy or why? Uh, a bit of both, but I remember this one math teacher. I, I really disliked her and she really disliked me and that's made me miss a lot of math class and like I would like go to every class except the mathematics one <laughs> for some time. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. a bit annoying part of my of my life, I guess. What do you hate in life? Maybe intolerant people. Intolerant to what in general? To anything, religion, to other people's habits, other people's culture everything uh, how do you react to it do you uh, do you talk to somebody do you ignore them do you pick a fight depends sometimes yeah if it's too extreme yeah but otherwise not uh, what is important to you as a person uh, to have fun in life and have good friends around me who do so as well with me so what do you do you live in China what do you do in China I play. No, 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 not a word about playing. Okay. I sleep. <laughs> I eat a lot of delicious food from many different countries, Japanese, Thai, everything. And I go out to club quite often, but not really, not really these days. Are you much of a tourist? Uh, do you, I mean, have you seen the Great Wall of China, the uh, Warriors of Clay, or did you just sit in your apartment and uh, go to clubs? It's a bit embarrassing, but I didn't see the Great Wall nor the Forbidden City, but I blame it on my friends who always go without me and didn't call me to go there. They're always like, oh, I thought you already saw it, but no, I didn't see it. And how, I, how much time did you spend in China? A little bit more than one year. And you, you saw nothing, absolutely nothing. Yeah, uh, I mean, I drove in front of the Forbidden City, but I didn't visit it. And the Great Wall is a bit far too, and need to wake up in the morning, so that makes it really hard for me to get there. To wake up in the morning? Yeah. Okay. I don't wake up much in the morning. <laughs> I'm not a morning person. Is China really, you know, the, the, this uh, communist country where 
everybody uh, is not free and stuff? I'm not too concerned because I'm a foreigner living there, so I'm kind of free of doing what I want, except for breaking the law, of course. But yeah, sometimes it feels like for the for the other people, from my point of view, for what I see, yeah, it feels a little like this. But I'm not too concerned by this, so I, I don't think about it too much. What kind of music do you listen to? Uh, mostly hip hop and R and B, but also like trance. But it's mostly hip hop, and also the clubs I go to is mostly hip hop music. Uh, what kind of music do you hate? Uh, I don't really like repetitive music, like soul or something. When the music is only the same for like three minutes, it really gets me mad or something. I don't know. I can't stand it. I want to change music directly. So is that part of your hyperactive profile? No, not really. This Atten is like attention disorder. Yeah, no, this is more like part of uh, the part of me that dislike boringness because I think it's boring to listen to very repetitive music for five minutes. And uh, what kind of films do you watch? Uh, a bit of everything, some action mostly. Some What's your drama. favorite movie then? I have a few. Uh, there is uh, The Butterfly Effect that I really liked. And more recently, The Bone Supremacy also was action-packed. I really like this one. You think Matt Damon is hot? I think in the movie, what he does in the movie, The Bone Supremacy, I don't think he can do half of it in real life. But yeah, apart from this, uh, I think he's a good actor. Star Wars or Lord of the Rings? Mm. Or Titanic? <laughs> Star Wars, definitely. And why? Did you grow up Just, on Star Wars? Well, I wouldn't say that, because that would make me really old, I guess. But yeah, the last, especially the last few Star Wars, the last three, I really enjoyed watching them I re and re-watching them. And the universe that is around it is really exceptional. What's but, your favorite character from Star Wars? I like uh, the Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi and also the Jar Jar guy. I don't know if that's, if that's his name also in English. Jar Jar Binks, yeah. yes. But uh, so you prefer the light side of the force, not the dark side? No, I don't particularly like the dark side. I like uh, the Jedi more. I don't like the dark side in the movie, but in real life, I don't know. Maybe I'm on the dark side. Is that why you play human, not night elf, not, uh, uh, not undead? I thought you said nothing about the game. Oh, crap. <laughs> See, you caught me. You caught me here. Do you consider yourself lazy? Yes, very. Give me, I mean, give me examples of extreme laziness that you would, you know, go oh, into. Perfect example for that. In China, the, the cab fare by default starts at 10 kwai, which is one euro. And to walk one block away from my home to go to the supermarket, I take a cab. Every time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, do you have a girlfriend in China? Yeah, but we're having some trouble lately, so yes and no. Yes and no. How do you get on with a, a, with a partner from a different culture? Is that easy for you? Well, we're young people, so we are quite alike. We like the same things and stuff. The culture part, don't... It's not too involved, I guess. So uh, there is not that many problems on this side. Do you miss French food? Yes. And now, since I came back to France, like recently, like two weeks ago, I've been eating so much, all the food that I missed. But now that I've been here for like some time, I'm starting to miss Asian food. I guess I really like both of them. So when you wake up and you think about your entire day, when you now think of your entire day, what kind of percentage of your entire day do you spend thinking about what we're not talking about today? Not much. I mean, do you, okay, do you separate your work from your private life or do you sometimes go around and, oh, I should do this, you know, in terms of your work? Uh, yeah, sometimes. I think about it in unexpected moments, but personally my most inspirational moments
to think about the game and strategies and have good ideas is when I shower. I always have good ideas about strategies and these kind of things. I've came up with a lot of good stuff while showering, so I don't know, it's just like instinct comes naturally. Do you shower like Kevin Spacey in American Beauty? I didn't see that movie, but I just shower regularly. Just when I woke up, I always start the day with a shower. Or when I have, an, when I have a game, like in the evening. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing about the well, game. It's part of my life or it's a bit outside the game. It's like preparation for it. When I have an important match uh, and I need to awake myself or something, I also I go take a shower. Uh, so how much of your day is not your job, completely not your job? Almost all of it lately. I, I haven't been practicing that much seriously. Really, I don't play much. So lately, maybe... 95%. What does your family think of your job in general? Do they accept you? Uh, in the start, they didn't really accept it, but as soon as I started to come back home with some big checks, they, <laughs> they took it a bit more seriously, and now that they see that I live in China and I make quite decent money, yeah, they support me pretty much. Would you stay in China as a country to live in? Would you recommend it? Uh, to experience once, yeah, but to live it there, yeah, I guess you will have to really like it and really be in the, in the mind to live there, but I don't think I could stay there for a very, very long time.